are such an asshole. Just so you know, um, this is not my, um, I'm, I'm not like wearing this outfit to be hip or to be a cool Snoop DJ. Snoop Dogg, get it? Ah, yeah. <laughs> Wasn't funny when it was original. Um, <clears throat> the reason is, is I'm a Japanese animation character and that is I usually wear the same exterior clothes the entire time. I only change my underwear and socks, my undershirt, and then I'll get to another sweater. So um, <clears throat> I remember I bought this last year. I'm like, oh, my, I like Snoopy. Snoopy's really cool. So, and that's the one that was on top of the clean pile. Are you still living like a bachelor? Are you still living like a married man, which isn't living at all? Hey, hey. All right. <clears throat> really quick, because I got a fair amount to get through. One whiny little person. I'm going to get you mine. I'll get to it. It'll be longer now that you asked that, but I'll get to it. Um, hi, Cappy. Hope you're doing well. I would like to know why I was fired from my job. I was hired at a big corporation two months ago and was recently terminated. They said it was due to my poor performance, but I was never given any indication of my performance throughout working here. And already I, I smell effery. I, I call BS on them because you were there for two months. And it's a large corporation. And you mentioned the corporation. Like, dude, they didn't train you. They didn't do anything. Um, so I, I mean... Two months, you would have had to done, done something really bad, like not show up for work or something. I will say I was good, but not the best remote worker. Certainly not worth firing only over two months. The big corporation, you mentioned it, required root beer floats, yet told me this after I was brought on. All right, yeah, so they're already... <clears throat> they, imagine you're going on a date with a girl, okay? And she first thing she did was lie to you. About, you know, not having kids or something like that. Not being married before. I don't care how big the company is, how well-known that name is. Usually it, it's the case. They're, if they lie, they lie. And they're not worth, they're not good employers. I'll get to my, my, my overall point here later. But you could already start to see problems that aren't yours. And it's, go watch my video, um, Why Your Elders Don't Know Bleep. Trying to anonymize or, or keep this clean so it gets to other people's heads. Um, just because they're older doesn't mean they know what they're doing. And um, certainly it, it, when it gets to bigger corporations, you get ahead by lying, being compliant, obedient, backstabbing, uh, but certainly not being ethical or moral. Um, so it would not surprise me a big company like this the leaders of which are at least in their late thirties, if not older and more my age, uh, they, they, they're, they're screw ups. Most people are screw ups. I don't care how much gray hair they have. Most people are screw ups. And if it, if it kind of seems obvious, like, wait, I, I, what, you know, how did I, what? Uh, it wasn't you. It wasn't you. It, it, a lot of parallels could be drawn. Like <clears throat> in the analog days, Girls were shooting every guy down, but we didn't have the internet to compare notes. Like, are you getting, because we think like, well, who's, if I'm getting shot down, it must be bad luck. You know, and, and comes to find out all guys were getting shot down. But until you had that, be able to compare the notes on the interwebs, you thought there was something horrifically wrong with you. And I remember, oh my God, the number of stones I unturned. There were no stones left unturned. Like, what is wrong with me? <clears throat> and then the, the idea came to me, what if there's nothing wrong with me, but rather something wrong with society? And then immediately society will jump on you. I, I can't possibly be. You're the only common variable. Ha ha ha. Yeah, except for this time. Aren't you the same people that are trying to get eight-year-olds to question their sexuality when they don't even... What? what? Are you? Isn't this? Are you the same ones that said like it was global cooling? Now it's global warming, and it was the ozone layer, and the paper companies are burning down the forests. Um, <clears throat> oh, acid rain! Someone brought that one up, and socialism is good, and you don't need it. Were you the same people? Tell you, you'll be okay with me just believing society is mostly wrong nowadays, and the individual is right. It's not common at this point in time in history. It is, and it's the same thing here. In the olden days, like your boss, all oh, the corporations, or oh, your employer knows what to, oh, they got the great heart, they got the MBA. No. One thing I'll tip my hat to the Zers and the millennials, you guys did the great laydown or the great resignation. I don't blame you. I, I bet good for you. I'm very, I, I do applaud that. You guys did real good with that. 
I think you have to learn that it's not you, man. Generally, the labor pool is universally crappy. And if, if a company has high turnover, that is a reflection upon management. And uh, that's and sometimes you, if you got a big enough name, you have large enough synergies, efficiencies in other areas. Um, you can get by with some really crappy middle management and upper management too. But that doesn't mean that management's right. It usually means management is wrong. Like so, that's that's why you guys should all be looking at Glass. That's one of the best websites, Glassdoor Reviews. Go look it up. Make sure you you don't work for a company that's that's three or below. It's got to be three and a half or higher because <clears throat> it ain't worth wasting your time. Um, I didn't have one. Oh, wait. Uh. I didn't have one submitted a, a reasonable accommodation and you're working remotely. I was and it was pending at a time of my termination. The department I was in consisted of three women and they barely had any work for me to do there. All right. And this is where it's proof. Okay. It's not my opinion anymore. It's not your suspicions. It's proof. The number of jobs I had where they did not have any work for me to do, or certainly not eight hours a day is, is palpable. It's, it's it's unreal. Um, and that is the number one sign of poor management where they completely overhire or mismatch or, or they underhire. There is no match between the number of employees and the amount of work to do. And you're either being overworked or you're being completely underworked. And I'm I'm gonna guess what ended up happening is <clears throat> someone forgot to carry the one. Somebody did a mistake on estimating the amount of labor they needed. They hired too many of you, but instead of admitting their mistake, they fired you and said, oh, you're poor performance or whatever else like that. I mean, only, I mean, like if, if, if you were jerking off in the closet, okay, they probably had a right to fire you, but you would know that you wouldn't ask me that question. This is much more common where they mismatch the, the labor with the um, number of employees amount of work to do with the number of employees. And when you got there, and there was no work to do. Yeah. And then probably some metric kicked in where the your boss's boss said, what the hell's going on here? <clears throat> and they say, oh, we got to cut some some people and let go. And you were one of them. Uh, the fact your department consisted of three when it doesn't it doesn't matter. I mean, you're working remotely, too. Was I a liability to them with the root beer float? No, I, I really don't think that was the main reason. Um let, let's leave that aside for now. I really think they they misestimated their workload. And yes, it could have been something out of the one out of the four, which one do we fire? And they got rid of you because corporations, especially large companies, hate people with self-respect. They can't manipulate you. They can't control you. This is why they always love it when people go and get car loans and auto loans and student loans and master's degrees and home loans, <clears throat> get divorced. They, 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 you're their slave, man. Like, do you, do you know why married? This is the funniest thing. Like, married men make more money, which is true. Married men make significantly more money, about 40%. You know why? Because they have to. They got to be that good corporate cog. cog. They got to suck that big corporate D. That'll be my new rap in the corporate D, yo. First song, Carlson. Carlson. K O L. No, K O Call. Call. K O R L. Sin. Carlson. Oh. It's not even funny anymore. It's been going on with all these stupid rap names. <clears throat> Carlson. Um. Where was he going with that? <laughs> Just picturing a stupid ass frat boy with a COSM and like glitter with a big ass thing. Necklace. Bling. Uh, I forgot where I was going. Uh, oh, they, they need you enslaved. And that's why married men make more because they're married and they can't get divorced and they got to keep going and going and they'll do the extra. A lot of them, uh, this is also a factor. A lot of married men work at the office to stay away from their wives. I, I've known several men to do that. I don't know what percentage of it, but it, 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 I would guess it's a measurable amount. And so that's why married men tend to do better because they have to, or they're just avoiding their wife. 
Um, and there you are already showing non-compliance. You're probably not married. You probably have no liabilities and they couldn't screw you over. Uh, so I think they're like, yeah, get rid of him. He's like, you're not a team player. That's why all you are hiring so many 1099 contractors, right? You, you need us non-team players to save your asses. Oh, it's great. It's great seeing the labor shortage. <clears throat> um, so I don't think you were a, a lot. You weren't a liability. You're working from home. You would not have brought any uh, health liability uh, to the office because you weren't going to the office. But you were a liability in that you, you were already indicating like, look, I'm not going to just roll over. And you have to understand this. You have to understand this. <clears throat> Bosses want compliance more than they want profit above all else they, they want compliance they do not want ethics they don't want productivity they do not want efficiency they want their ego stroked and you must do what they say at all times that's what they want i and i'm make, making that i'm not saying because i hate corporate america i'm not saying because i had a bad experience i'm just saying it's because it's true when when you go work your bosses are all egotists it's rare you find a real leader who sets their ego aside says all right what do we got to do practically to you know uh streamline operations get by with a few amount of employees but the lowest turnover pay everyone fairly how do we make this division as productive and efficient as possible and that doesn't always mean you cut everything to the bone and you don't train people in and then you're like oh but that's how like 95 percent look dude <clears throat> just imagine how unprofessional unreliable egomaniacal and petty all your friends are and that add 20 years it's the same thing those are your bosses no one, no one matures, no one grows up. So, so it really isn't your fault. Was my performance actually bad enough for termination? You think there was a department cha change? I, there could have been. Someone could, uh, higher up than you could have gotten fired and they re they reorged. That could have been uh, totally it. I think it was just, <clears throat> when you said there was no work, I think somebody missed, they, they overhired is we're getting rid of you. But instead of saying, that, hey, we're sorry, man, and here's a little bit of severance, which would have been fair, and then you would have had a positive you know, opinion of this company, but now you don't. Uh, you know what I would do? I'd go write a glass door review. Just bring that level down, man. Deprive these people of labor. Make it harder. Make it more costly. Same thing with interest rates. You know, or credit scores. It's essentially there. Look, hey, you're all about social media or social scores, right? <clears throat> glass door reviews. Get these company. Thank you, anonymous. We keep you anonymous. I said, uh, "What do you mean, barely any work?" Also, what was the job? I was just kind of curious. Uh, you were, <laughs> you were a, a call center person. That's basically it. it. They gave it a very, a very fancy title, but you just your call support. Uh, and then here's another thing. I was supposed to do, um. Oh, no, you weren't call support. Oh, you were actually, you were in IT, entry-level IT, it sounds like. You're supposed to do certain things, but instead was basically given administrative duties for two months that I was there. Yeah, I had that happen. I know I didn't get fired. I quit on like day five. They wanted me to be a, a credit ad, like an analyst, like I'd analyze things. I went in, all I was doing was filing and faxing. Okay, oh, I could tell you, by the way, well, would that be fair? This is like 25 years ago, so I'm sure it's a completely different group of people. That would be unfair. Um, but, uh, yeah, if, if they don't have enough management, if they don't have enough, if management doesn't have enough work organized for you, they'll just have you do clerical stuff. Huge sign. Uh, the last I, uh, bank I worked for in Wyoming, it was the same thing. Like, don't make any loans yet. All right. You want me to do something else? Why don't you do a site visit? Okay. Hey, the roof is gone and there's water damage and electrical damage. Do you want to like, Maybe get in here and make this at least safe, clean it up. So it's, oh, no. I mean, you, if you're sitting there twiddling your thumb seven hours out of eight hours, and because they've specifically, it, it, dude, I can't emphasize it enough, man. These old people do not know anything. They don't. They're really that stupid. You know, and you might want to go get Curse of the High IQ. I should have probably linked to that below. Curtis of the high IQ. I'll link to some other book down, but I mean, it was bachelor pad economics. Um, but you, if, if you're at a, a company and you're like, why am I getting my work done? Why is everyone else dragging their feet? It's here. I got a copy right here. Curse of the high IQ. Go get it. Paperback, Kindle and audio. <clears throat> All right. Do we have any super chats? 
If you kindly would subscribe to the channel, I'm trying to get up to, um, and how's my audio by the way? One, if it's good, uh, zero, if bad. And let me know why, like hot, too quiet. I was adjusting the settings. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, oh, subscribe to the channel. Trying to get hundred thousand of it. I also have Cappy's clips. We're already over a thousand, but watch some of the videos there. Cause I gotta get to 4,000 hours. And I can monetize it. Uh, Dexter Barnes, new guy, five bucks. Good news. Cappy graduating Princeton in May and going to be making 90,000 in Utah. Dude, that's great. Very reputable school, but then you're not working on the East coast. You're over in Utah. That's wonderful. About the stack of town while I'm there, only 1,500 cost. Beautiful. Well, that's a smaller town. You're not in Salt Lake. Well, maybe you are in Salt Lake. Oh, uh, man. And coming up on summer, dude, Utah is like the best place for like hiking because in the South, like especially now, you can do Moab, you can do Cortez, well, that's Colorado. You can do all the uh, Zion, Bryce, you can do all that. If things get a little hot. You go hike up in King Mountain Range. You can hike up in the uh, desert peaks. You can you can go uphill or up in elevation. And I, I would strongly recommend you visit Dinosaur National Monument in Vernal and hike to the confluence of the Yampa and Green Rivers. Uh, just that's one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen, and no one knows about it. But uh, congratulations, Dexter. That's that's great. <clears throat> if you do go out there, send me a picture. Send me a, give give me a finger. Uh, Seb Knowlton, five bucks. Reinvented myself after the lockdown with a remote sales job. Did 120,000 my first year. I'm a junior college dropout. Ha <laughs> ha! With no debt or SJW brainwashing. Yeah! you Guys, man, college is rapidly becoming pointless. Rapidly. Like, it really is STEM or go home. You know, our accounting, you know, obviously the ones we always mention here. But that is, it is just a joke. College is now where... Oh, one. Okay, thanks, guys. I appreciate that. Um, <clears throat> audio is good. Uh, college is rapidly becoming adult baby daycare for faux intellectuals. It is really just coming to place for parents to kick their children out of the home because dad wants to bang your mom on the kitchen island again. Be oh, wait, they got divorced. Never mind. <laughs> Two, why are so many sociopaths in management? Because it, they're ruthless. They'll do anything to get ahead. They'll lie. Well, that's why the, the housing bubble happened. That's why the dot-com bubble happened. No one, no one on Wall Street cared whether or not um, <clears throat> they were actually conducting good business or these loans would get paid back. It was all commission-based. Why, why do you think the, the country, you know, Wall Street people handle the finances. Uh, your politicians handle politics. Why well, do you think the United States financially or fundamentals are just are just horrible? You know, you, 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 there's enough stupid people that believe the uh, free stuff and other people's fault. Vote for me and I'll take care of everything, which, which is hilarious because I'm waiting for the Democrats to solve one freaking thing. <laughs> one thing they've been promising for half a century, you know, well, when are you going to help out the black community? When are you going to, uh, I don't know, close the wage gap? I have solutions. And they would work. As I've always funnily said before, though tragically at the same time, because it is true, I've gotten more black people out of poverty, black men out of poverty, than the Democrat Party, simply because the Democrat Party hasn't gotten a single black person out of poverty yet. <clears throat> but, and you will find this as you get older, and this is where Operation Evil, I've, I've kind of gone this route, is people don't want progress. They want to feel good. And sociopaths would tell them what they want. Look at Oprah. Oprah, I don't believe is sociopath. I think she actually believes her crap. I think she actually, she's a true believer, <clears throat> but the, um, I'm trying to think who would be a sociopath who, who no, oh, Paul Krugman's a perfect example. He'll lie. He doesn't believe a word he says. That's my opinion. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, but he's too well-written. He's too clever. I'm like, I see what you're doing there. Oh, that's brilliant. Paul. He's, he's, he's operation evil. They want to hear this. All right. How do I skew economics to make them believe it? Oh, and I throw in my hatred of Republicans. Do you know I hate Republicans? By the way, I hate Republicans. How cool am I? Isn't it about time he just die of old age? Krugman can't be that young anymore. DC on five bucks. Just left a brat woman with a single mother. Just left a brat woman with a single mother. Gained 20 pounds. Brat woman with a single mother. 
She has two chins now, and I just got an apartment. Celebrate with me. I, you lost me. You left. You left a brat woman. So you're dating a young woman who lives with her single mother that gained 20 pounds in six months. She has two chins now, and I got an apartment. Celebrate with me. Congratulations. <clears throat> I will be somewhat understanding if a woman gains a little bit weight if her environment or whatever called by like okay if you're really busy death in the fam something something particular minnesota but you put on weather weight particular but on six, not 20 pounds in six months no <laughs> no me mike five bucks margin call movie is full of sociopathic characters and margin call also has a few realistic characters too both fit the description to a t yeah um um Oh, what was the other one? The Big Short. That was a pretty good one. Wolf of Wall Street, same thing. Um, I think they they turn it up to 15. <clears throat> but um, the the sociopaths are not that smart. They're usually not that smart. Uh, or at least the ones I ran into, I'm just like, there was one guy who was a gen like, like mentally ill. I would say, I got to look him up. And like I could see him a mile away, and he hated my guts. I think because he knew that I could see through his BS real quick. Like I wasn't going to tolerate it. Then I wasn't intimidated by him. Um, <clears throat> I got to look him up. He's like fifty now, maybe fifty-five. He old. He old. All right, that's it. Questions, answers, asshole Link down below. We'll see you guys later. Toodles. <laughs>